Hello and blessings to you all. I am Lucette and this is the Wiccan Life Podcast. Welcome back to the second of our planetary meditations. Today we shall be meditating on Mercury. As I have mentioned before, I am using the term planet to refer to the seven classical planets of antiquity. And my aim with this podcast is to provide you with the meditations. If you want to know more about planetary magic, I have provided a bibliography on the show notes. You can find these show notes on my website, weekendlife.co.uk, or alternatively search online. There is plenty of information out there. If you have any questions, you are always free to email me at talktome at wickenlife.co.uk and you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're enjoying the podcast, please support me on Patreon so I can continue providing you with meditations. Now back to Mercury. I shall be using the Greek vowels to call upon the planet as per the Greek magical papyri and more information on what this is on my website. We shall also be using some of the Orphic hymns during the meditations, and I have written the one that I'm going to say on this meditation on the show notes. If you have been practicing my meditations, you will notice that uh, for this planetary meditations, I am changing the way you start your meditation. As for these, you do not visit your oak tree. But instead, you will be opening a door to a different dimension, to a room that sits between the worlds. So without further ado, let's get meditating. Get yourself comfortable, preferably in a sitting position, and close your eyes. Start breathing slowly and be aware of your breathing. Breath goes in and then it goes out. As you start to relax, remember that you can end the meditation at any moment by opening your eyes and you will immediately be back to reality. Take a deep breath in. And then let the breath go. Do this one more time. Take a deep breath in. And then let it go. Slow down your breathing. Making sure when you breathe out, you remove from your body all the stresses of the day. Slow down your breathing, making sure when you breathe out, you remove from your mind all the stresses of the day. Slow down your breathing, making sure when you breathe out, you watch all your worries disappear. Continue to breathe slowly. You feel your body relaxing. You feel your muscles softening. From your feet up to your ankles and then your calves and your thighs, you relax your muscles. Then to your pelvis, up your torso, through your chest and down your arms, you relax your muscles. And finally, up your neck, around your face, you feel your muscles relaxing. You feel very calm. 
You know you are very relaxed. As you sit there in contemplation, a wide calm mist appears all around you. This mist grows around you and it keeps growing around you. It is a calm mist. It is a very safe mist. The mist keeps growing and getting thicker. Like thick fog, it surrounds you and all you can see is this very thick fog. Then this fog transports you to a deeper and calm part of yourself. The fog then starts to disappear and you find yourself in front of a large closed door. As you stand in front of your door, take a look. What is it made of? Is it simple or intricate? What colour is it? What does the handle look like? This door will take you to a place that stands between the worlds where magic happens. Now open your door and cross the threshold. As you cross the threshold, you find yourself in a large, dark room. It's lit by torches, and the room is empty at the moment. In the middle of the room, on the floor, there is a large pentacle drawn on the floor. You walk to the middle of the pentacle and you stand in the centre of this pentacle, in the centre of the room. You can feel the calm atmosphere. You can feel the dormant magic that lingers in the air. You are safe here. This is your sacred ritual space. A place where you come to make magic happen. You feel connected to this place. As you stand there, in the middle of this room, you start chanting. The room then starts vibrating with your chanting. You can feel the waves. You can see the moving energies. You can hear the chant echoing through the room, penetrating every part of the room, through your body, through your soul. As the chants get stronger, the room then starts to disappear and you find yourself floating inside an orange orb. You are inside of what looks like an orange globe that shines bright around you. You can feel the flow of this orange orb, a constant movement around you. You start chanting again. Eh. Eh. 
And as the chanting gets stronger, the orb then starts to disappear, leaving you standing in the middle of a room full of books. All you can see is shelves and shelves full of books. You look above and instead of a ceiling, you can see the night sky full of stars. Constellation after constellation. A gust of wind then comes out of nowhere and flows around you and some of the books start flying around you as well, as if by magic, and then pieces of paper float around you. They move across room from one end to the other. All these books and all these papers flying around you, you reach out and manage to grab a piece of paper that was flying. And on it you see some words written, a poem. And then you hear yourself say out loud the words, Hermes, draw near and to my prayer incline. Angel of Zeus and Maya's son divine, studious of contests, ruler of mankind, with heart almighty and a prudent mind. Celestial messenger of various skill, whose powerful arts could watchful Argus kill. With winged feet, it is thine through air to course, O friend of man and prophet of this cause. Great life supporter to rejoice is thine, in arts gymnastic and in fraud divine. With power endued or language to explain, of care the loosener and the source of gain, whose hand contains of blameless peace the rod, Corrucian, blessed, profitable God. Of various speech, who aid in works we find, and in necessities to mortals kind. Dire weapon of the tongue, which men revere, be present, Hermes, and thy suppliant here. Assist my works, conclude my life with peace. Give graceful speech, and my memories increase. As you stand there in peace, in silence, you feel the power of mercury vibrating throughout your body, penetrating your soul. Mercury brings thought and intellect. Is about movement and writing and communicating and eloquence. Feel the transformation within you. Mercury guiding you through your thoughts, ideas that you express through your words. Feel your aura expanding with an orange light, an orange light that gets stronger and bigger and more dense. An orange light that takes over and all you can see and feel is the orange light. And as this orange light starts to disappear, you find yourself back in the room with the pentacle beneath you. It is time to return to a mundane world. So you turn around and walk to your door. As you reach the door, you cross the threshold and close the door behind you. And now that it's time to go back, I want you to count from ten to one backwards. Ten. The calm mist starts appearing around you again and growing 
and growing. Nine. And that calm mist then turns into a very thick fog again. A fog that completely surrounds you. Eight. And then the fog slowly takes you back to where you started this journey. Seven. Then the fog starts to dissipate again. Six. And as it turns to a light mist again, you start seeing where you are. Five. You become aware of this space around you. Four. You become aware of your body. Three. You can start moving parts of your body now. Two, have a good stretch. And one, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed that journey. I shall be back with you in three weeks' time. As my life is getting busier now that we're coming out of lockdown, every two weeks is proving difficult to fit in my schedule as I'm currently training seekers and the coven meetings have started again. But fear not, I am still here, and in three weeks you shall have another meditation. Until next time, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. <laughs>